Welcome to another edition of The Gringo Show. Good to have you back with us. Thanks to all who are watching us from all over Mexico. It's pretty amazing. Keep them coming. It's really helpful for our team when we decide what new content to write. So if you haven't, please keep writing us from where you're watching from the comments uh, below. But let's get right to the news. The big story everyone's talking about this week is that the Mexican government announced that it will eliminate tariffs on foreign goods that the government has declared basic items, called the Canasta Básica. Este lunes el gobierno federal emitió un decreto para extentar de forma temporal el pago de aranceles, es decir, de, impu de impuestos a la importación a 21 productos de la canasta básica y seis insumos estratégicos. First of all, what a great word, right? Canasta básica. You can make a song like canasta básica, ch -ch. canasta básica. Ch -ch. And this canasta básica includes 66 items like beans, rice, corn oil, and some things like sardines, pasta for soups. I guess if you eat pasta itself, no, but if it's in a soup. <laughs> Something called sorghum. Uh, if you know what sorghum is and why it's a basic item, please let me know. And the kincher, toilet soap. That's part of the canasta basica. I want to meet the guy who gets to decide this stuff. Well, mm, toilet soap, definitely something everybody needs. <laughs> The government hopes that it will help with stabilizing prices in the near term and slow down inflation. So right now, go to Amazon because there's a discount on season brand sardines. <laughs> you can't pay me to eat them. <laughs> Do you like sardines? Terrible. AMLO announced on Monday that he's not going to the Summit of the Americas in Los Angeles next month unless they invite his friends from Cuba, from Nicaragua, and from Venezuela. They're not invited, he's not going. And I knew that the State Department officials were rattled not knowing who would drink the booze and party until 5 a.m. if the Mexican <laughs> delegation wouldn't attend. The Americans go to bed at 10, right? The Mexicans keep partying. AMLO said he would send abroad instead, so everybody felt better about it. I'm not sure if this is related, but later in the day, the Biden administration reversed Trump era rulings to allow more commercial flights to cities in Cuba other than Havana and lifted limits on remittances, among other things. The whole Cuba thing is about Florida and it goes back to Mexico in some point because Florida is an important election swing state and Cubans in Florida are still pretty angry at the communist government. So this is a seesaw and strengthens my argument that if the Elian Gonzalez thing didn't exist, Gore may have won the election there wouldn't have been an invasion in Iraq, and maybe your local Sumesa would be selling breakfast cereal endorsed by Saddam Hussein. <laughs> that would be called Husseinos. <laughs> you never know. Husseinos, healthy for kids. <laughs> the Pope has a sense of humor. Last week he met with a group of seminarians from Mexico, and when asked about how his engineered, injured knee was doing, he said this. Papa Francisco, ¿cómo estás de tu pierna, de tu rodilla? <laughs> then they said him afterwards they'd bring him a bottle of tequila to his private residence. And I just can imagine a Pope, seminarians in his private residence with a bottle of tequila. <laughs> Surely a lot of laughter and great ideas, right? You know. Sunday was National Teachers' Day in Mexico as the apple lovers, by the way, Mexican students give apples too? Yeah. As the apple lovers were celebrated by parents, students, and the government. AMLO announced on Monday that they would be given a wage increase of 1% to over 1 million teachers. I just wish he would have done it in a different way, like Oprah style, you know, like you get a car, you get a car, you get a car. <laughs> but except AMLO's in a room with 40 teachers and he's like, tienes un... Aumento de suelo. <laughs> Tienes un aumento de sueldo. Now, I don't know if that would be efficient. That would take them over 16 minutes <laughs> to do it to all the 40 teachers. Probably not a good idea. But it's really great that teachers are getting a raise. And then, but if the average teacher's salary is 14,300 pesos a month, that represents a 140 peso increase. Now who's to say that that's not a lot of money or it is because someone in a municipality in say Chiapas, that could represent a lot of money. 
but that's also the cost of one family to go to the theater and see Fast and the Furious 9. <laughs> and then walk out of the theater and feel so ripped off at the end, like your money just vanishes. <laughs> Nine? <laughs> teachers are our most important resource. Good teachers make good students. Good students make a good country. And I'm sure most of the country is just hoping that something in an education reform will improve student outcomes here in our country. In other news, two sheep in the Santa Catarina Yosonoto municipality in Oaxaca were arrested last week and locked up for loitering. Yes, you heard it right, I said two sheep. <laughs> the sheep were caught eating grass outside of a school courtyard, so they put them in jail and deprived them of food and water. The state of Oaxaca is now investigating this as a case of animal cruelty, and they're also working on a new Televisa sitcom, Policia de Ovejas. <laughs> bad ovejas, bad ovejas. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when we come for you? <laughs> Good news, the sheep were released, and when asked about the conditions of the jail, they said it's bad. <laughs> and finally, a boat of whale watchers were injured last weekend when a show-off whale decided to go out and do his tricks jumping in and out of the water and then accidentally fell on the boat. Reminds me of the time my drunk uncle walked on the diving board at a 4th of July pool party and missed the water. <laughs> Some were injured in the whale boat accident, but the good news is that no one was critically injured. Authorities reminded people not harassing the whales like calling them fat to their faces. <laughs> they don't like that. They prefer blubberly plump. <laughs> that does it for this edition of The Gringo Show. So glad you tuned in. If you like it and want to help support our little program, please, please share it with friends and family. It would be helping us a lot to fund our show. We read the papers, follow social media, and watch the mañanera and translate <laughs> into English so you don't have to. Have a great week. <laughs> Thanks to you.